Hi, right, Steve, WichitaFixit.com. A lot of people don't like the old popcorn ceilings. Well, I'm going to show you the process on how to remove it. And I'll turn the camera around and you can, you can see the first, first step on how to remove popcorn. Texture is basically drywall mud. And all we're doing now is spraying water on there to put moisture on it. And you're going to come back behind with a big old wide knife and scrape it. But before you do that, you want this water to set up a little bit. And, and what it'll do is the longer it sets, the easier it'll be to, to come off. So we want to make sure we get a good coat of water on it. And then we'll come behind it with a knife and start scraping. Now that water is going to soak into that texture and it will help loosen it up from the ceiling. So now you just simply start scraping it and because of the moisture it comes off in big, looks like just big old sheets. And it takes it right down to the sheetrock. But as you can see, it's a very messy job. But if you want to get it back down to the sheetrock, this is what you have to do. So, You want to be careful when you're scraping because there's a tape joint all the way around the angle. Sometimes when you scrape into it, you'll peel that tape back. And then all you really need to do is get a little bit of mud underneath it and then put Put the tape back down and squeeze the mud out, and that should be good. We're going to let this dry a little bit. We're going to spray it with sealer and shoot it with knockdown. Now what we're doing is putting on an oil-based sealer. So none of that moisture will bleed through the, the new, dry, the new uh, knockdown. This is what I use for sealer. Never have any troubles. After we got this ceiling scraped, we went ahead and there was quite a bit of mud that we needed to do. Everywhere you can see that real bright white. That's, that's fixing nail holes, fixing tape joints. A lot of times when people put texture on the ceiling, they won't finish out they won't finish out the drywall as well because texture hides a lot. So you can see everywhere we had to fix this ceiling before we could spray it with texture or knock down. So now what we've done is put a knockdown texture on the ceiling. And it just and it looks great. We went ahead and painted it, of course. I always paint it after I put knockdown on. A lot of guys just leave it mud color. Because they think because you put a white base, you can just not paint it. But I think it makes it look more even if you paint it. Well, that's the process I use for removing texture from a ceiling. If it was helpful, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, check out my other videos at, at Wichita Fix It on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe and leave me some comments. I appreciate it.